Hey guys, today I want to talk to you guys about something that's super important. Um, I'm sure you heard about supply chain issues and all this other stuff about the, um, the food you know, industry and all this stuff, right? Okay, so now more than ever, it's super important for us to um, basically get back to like the roots of when people used to live off the land and be more self-sufficient and stuff. And so my family and I have done some different stuff. I'll go into, you know, different stuff in different videos. But in this video, I just want to talk about basically uh, living off the land. So wherever you live, you need to find out what there is that's natural that you can eat and when those things would be out and how to process them. Why is that important to know now? Well, if you wait until later to try to figure out these things, quite frankly, the internet's probably going to be down and you're not going to have access to it. Let's say that you like to save survivalist videos. Too late can't access videos, no internet, right? So make sure that you um, look things up in advance. Make sure you write down what your plan is, how to process things and stuff like that in advance, okay? So that being said, I'm gonna show you guys something. I have right here a bucket. This is just an old laundry bucket, laundry soap bucket. These are called mesquite beans. And we have here where we live uh, in the Sonoran Desert, um, the trees, like almost every tree that you see is practically a mesquite tree and they all are loaded with these beans now i grew up in this area and i didn't even know that you could process these and eat these of course if i thought about it i guess it makes sense but i hadn't really thought about it right these are literally just laying everywhere and uh it's so easy to actually process them i'm going to show you quickly um uh in a few minutes i'm going to show you exactly how to process them um, but I just want to say that whatever area you live in, maybe you don't have mesquite beans if you're not in the Sonoran Desert. Um, so find out, look up, find out what things grow in your area. Find out, like there might be literally like an abundance of stuff that you can learn how to do now. Like, so my family and I, we were processing these beans now. Um, and actually what we get out of it is flour. I'm going to show you. Mesquite flour that you can make little cakes out of or whatever else. And um, like... It's, it's not that much work to do. So we're doing it now, not out of like necessity. Like um, if, if we were doing it out of necessity, I would be gathering every bean I could find outside. And it's everywhere. I'll show you some pictures of my backyard later. It's everywhere. There's these beans are just dropped all over the place, just wasted food. But as spoiled Americans, we don't eat off the land anymore, right? We just go to the store. We're dependent on the supply chain and Walmart having their food or, you know, Safeway or whatever else. And so we need to get some of these skills now. So like my family and I, um, the kids are helping me learn how to process these beans and, and make things out of it. Not because we need to now, but we need to have those skills. So it's almost like a hobby, okay? So we learn how to do it now so that later when it's a necessity, we're gonna know how to process this. This is gonna be easy for us. And uh, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit about the process real quick. Okay, so all you have to do for processing something like these mesquite beans, super simple. Just take the beans, they're dried out. Ah! They're dry. And we did, they've already been sanitized and stuff. You can look up videos of how to do it. It's really not that hard. You can bake them in the oven or in your car if you live in a really obnoxiously hot place like we do. Okay, you're just gonna put some in your blender, like a soap. And then I use my little smasher to just smash them down a little bit so they won't be quite so difficult. Not too hard. blender and it is going to be loud so I apologize in advance all you're really going to do is pulse it a few times until it looks like it's mostly you know done okay watch you'll see okay and you might have to move them around sometimes I have to and sometimes I don't just smash them down a little bit for some of those beans that were on top that didn't want to cooperate no big deal. Flip her on again. Okay, at this point I see no more whole beans. You can get in closer. I see no more whole beans. So all I'm gonna do now, see you can see it inside. There's some like some of the husks and stuff. That's what those large pieces are. And the beans actually grind right up into this soft powder, okay? So all I do now is dump that into a strainer here. 
I'm telling you, dude, I don't know, like, what this is going to taste like, but I think it's going to be delish to actually make it into something. But if you're starving, it's going to be delicious. That I know. So, then all i got to do is sift it. You can see it down below. I've already done a few batches. So, I just use the spatula to kind of help me move it around and get the powder out of the husks. Because those outer husks, they don't grind down into a powder, just the beans do. Which is pretty amazing. Almost done already, just shaky shake. And we actually gathered four large buckets like that of beans. And I mean, we barely even touched like the tip of the iceberg, man. And this is just, like I said, for now, it's more like a hobby just to learn the skill. So we weren't worrying about getting every bean, but I can tell you if we were starving, we'd be getting every single bean, right? So you really gotta find out what's in your area. You might not have this, but we certainly do. Okay, so then I have a second bucket just for all of the husks. And what I'm going to be doing with that is just adding it to my compost outside to help break, uh, you know, all the food down that we add to that. And it's literally as simple as that. You end up with this powder. And I can tell you guys, mm, it's like literally sweet. Like with adding nothing to it, the mesquite beans are just completely sweet. It's like super delicious, actually. And actually, my toddler loves to come in here and stick her fingers in it. And she just goes, mmm, -mm, tummy, because she just thinks it tastes delicious. So, um, I just wanted to encourage you guys, this is something that you can do, and one bucket that we process, which takes a little bit of time, but my gosh, we're talking about food, right? It's essential. One bucket gave us um, this much of a yield of the straight flour, the mesquite flour, which is awesome, so we're working on our second um, bucket right now. So that's all I wanted to say, but I just wanted to encourage you guys, wherever you live, look it up now. While you still have the internet, while you still have the chance, get these skills so you know how to process things that grow in your area. Like, think like the Native Americans, okay? They may not have the, the religion part down right, you know? Um, so, obviously, I'm a Christian. So, they didn't have the religion thing down right, I can say for a fact. But they knew how to live off of the land. They knew how not to waste. And I'm learning that more and more about not wasting, adding things to my compost, learning how to grow things, you know, in the garden and stuff like that. And uh, so the more self-sufficient we can be, the less screwed we're going to be as time goes on and things get worse. So don't wait um, until later. Uh, look things up now. Find out what's in the area where you live. Find out when it's in season, um, how to identify it, how to process it, and practice it like a hobby now so that you will have those skills when things get worse, okay? Um, if you guys uh, have any comments, go ahead and post them in the comments. And God bless you guys. Until the next video.